Hi, this video is about finding possible third side lengths of a triangle, and that's usually either with being given two sides or if you're given three sides and you're asked if it's possible for that to be a triangle. So let's get started. Um, the, the main idea here is that it, um, you can do two things with two sides. And let me give you an example. Let's just say that we were given um, sides of 5 and 8. Um, I can either have them, let's take my 5. So I've got this 5 unit right here, right? I've got the 8. I can either squish them together and lay them on top of each other so that they're almost where there's an angle almost imper imperceptible between them. They're almost flat, let's say, right? So let's say they look like they're flat and there's like a microscopic angle between them. The length that could connect those two line segments right here, the pink line, well, if the, top, if the blue line is an 8, the absolute smallest it could possibly be to connect the 5 and the 8 if they were laying flat on top of each other would be a 3. The only problem is that if, if it was a 3 and it was a 5, the 5 and 3 together make a length of 8 and you can't make an angle, um, you can't make um, a triangle with a 5 and a 3 and an 8 because they'd be laying all on top of each other. It'd be crazy. So the only possible length that you could have if you laid them and made a really small angle would be something a little bit bigger than a 3. It could be a 3.000001, but it definitely has to be more than 3. Okay. Uh, another option you could do, let me erase this work, is we can open the 3, I'm sorry, the 8 and the 5 way up and make try to make a really wide triangle. So let me kind of clean this up a little bit. I'm going to erase the 8, this blue one, and we're going to make that open wide up. Say we want like a really big triangle. Oops, that's not big enough. I'm going to go even bigger. I know. How about so big that it almost looks flat? You can't get any bigger than that, right? Um, so let's say that the angle that you have it open to is, oh, like 179.99999 degrees. It's like almost totally flat, right? It's so open that you can't even tell that it's not flat. Okay, well, the line that you could use to connect those two, let me label this length here as an 8. The line that you would use to connect them to make a triangle, well, if it was totally flat, the biggest it could be here would be a 5 plus an 8, that's 13. The only problem is that if it really was a 13 and the, this, the 5 and the 8 were opened up so wide, the 13 would make it totally flat. That would make it, instead of 179.999, that would make it flat, 180 degrees. And that's not okay because you can't make a triangle that way with two flat lines on top of each other. So instead of 13, what it would have to be would be something a little bit smaller, like 12.999. Okay? Then you'd have basically a triangle that was really flat, um, almost maybe even to the naked eye, you couldn't tell it was a triangle. Okay? Well, what we have here is um, the idea that a third length has to be more than the difference. Okay, so when we, when we had them squished together, we needed it to be more than three. So more than the difference, very simple, that's why I want to have them close together, or it must be less than their sum. Okay, less than the sum. So let's try this again. A third side's got to be more than the difference and less than the sum. And there's some... Um, mnemonic devices to remember this, but you can also think of it this way. Bigger than the difference, BDSS. And you can make all sorts of sentences that say that. Um, bigger than the difference, smaller than the sum. Bigger than the difference, smaller than the sum. So let's try that. I'm going to go ahead and write BDSS up top here. Uh, I want BD, bigger than the difference or smaller than the sum. 
You can make it maybe a mnemonic device that involves sunflower seeds. Okay, so I want bigger than the difference. Well, the difference between 5 and 10 is 10 minus 5, and that's 5. So I'm just going to write here, the difference is 5, and their sum, that's when I add them together, that's 15. So I want a number that's bigger than the difference, so I'm going to call it x. Bigger than 5 and less than 15. All right? That's just that simple. I can use any number between that. I can use 5.01. I could use 6 if I'm only asked to use a whole number. So um, how, how about these possible sides? Let's say I've got a 1 and a 90. Yep, I can make a triangle out of that. Um, so the difference, the difference between 1 and 90 is 89. The sum between 1, between 1 and 90 is 91. It doesn't give a lot of range for different sizes, but basically I need a side that's more than 89 and it has to be less than 91. So somewhere between those two lengths, between 89 and 91, but not inclusive. Let's try another one. 7 and 11. The difference between 7 and 11 is 4 because 11 minus 7 is 4. And the sum is 7 plus 11, that's 18. I'm going to write this a different way. I'm going to use an inequality statement, but I'm going to use a compound inequality statement. Um, if I want to have a value that's less than 18, but more than 4, I can write it this way. x is between 4 and 18. It's x is, uh, or 4 is less than x, and x is less than 18. Okay, that's a compound inequality. That's kind of a neat way to write it. Let's try it this one. 25 and 12. My difference is 13. And my sum is, well, 25 plus 12 is 37. So I'm looking for a value that's between these two numbers. So you just use less than symbols when you're doing a compound inequality. And this is an and type of compound inequality. It means I, I'm looking for a number that meets two criteria. It's got to be both bigger than the difference and it has to be smaller than the sum. All right? So it would have to be more than 13 or bigger than 13 and smaller than 37. Yeah. And keep on going. Um, 8 and 6. Well, their difference is 2. And the sum is 14. So I am looking for a number that's more than 2 and less than 14. Okay, so I can't use 14, it'd have to be less than 14. All right, and 20 and 45. Their difference, let's see, 45 minus 20 is 25, and their sum, if I add them together, I get 65. So I'm looking for a number that's between well, smaller number, 25 and 65. All right. Okay. Let's get to, once you get a little more practice, it's a little easier. Let's move on and do some problems where I'm just given three lengths. So I'm just going to pick any three lengths. And the question you typically get asked is, can they make a triangle? So let's say I've got 10, 18, and 6. All right. You can really just pick, um, I like to just pick either the smallest or the largest to do this. And um, so in this case, let's, let's try it both ways. I'm going to start with the 18. That's my biggest. I'm going to look at the 18 and focus on the other two, my 10 and my 6. The 18 is a number that's supposed to be okay, more than their difference and less than their sum. So for the 10 and the 6, the difference between 10 and 6 is 4, and their sum is 16. So you, you take the number and you, you look at the other two and want to find their difference and their sum. Well, unfortunately, 18 is, is not less than 16. What the problem is that if I was going to draw this, I would have a, I would have a side of 10. I'm going to try and draw it kind of proportionally. And let's say I, um, 
opened it, tried to open up all the way up so it looks almost like 180 degrees. Like, let's say this is 179 degrees, all right? Even if I open it wide open, this side like is still just six, all right? Let me make this a little smaller. This was kind of more to scale. So if this is 10 and that's six, it should be a little smaller. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, well, uh, a side length of 18 is just going to be too long. It won't, um, it won't allow me to make a triangle, okay? So that would be a no, all right? Now, let's just say instead of me picking the 18, I decided to start out by looking at the, the 6, okay? Let's forget all this for now. And let's say I thought about the 6 as a potential um, third length, okay? Well, then I'm going to be looking at my my 10 and my 18. And I'm going to do their difference in their sum, okay? Because they're the other two numbers. So my, my difference, this is for these two. Well, the difference between 10 and 18 is 8. And the sum is 28, okay? So these are the basically the two numbers that my third side needs to be between. And it's not. Six is too small. The neat thing when you're being asked to decide if three numbers can make a triangle is that you really only have to pick one of them. You have to pick um, either the ten, really any of them is going to work. The 10, the 18, and the 6 is all going to prove to me that it won't work. I use the 18, I use the 6. That's how I like to do it. What if I use the 10? Okay. Let's just say I looked at the 10 to see if it would work. Well, I'm going to have to find the difference in the sum of, oops, not sim, sum of 18 and 6. Well, the difference of 18 and 6 is 12, and their sum is 24. Okay? And I would be looking for a number for a third side that would have to be between those two numbers, and 10 is not. It's too small. Okay? So, um, it can, can seem overwhelming because it seems like you have to do this to all three of them. You really just, just pick one of the sides and add, add together the other two and subtract the other two. Find the difference in the sum, and the num th that other number must be between those two. Let's try one more um, just for fun. Uh, let's see, 25, 30, and 48 just for fun, okay? So I can pick any one of those. I'll just go with the 30 because it's in the middle. So what I want to do is take my other two numbers. We'll just put this 30 over here and blow a question mark. Is a 30 going to work? Okay. So the other two numbers are here. Their difference is, and you can use the calculator if you want, but um, I'd have to subtract 25 from 48, and I'm going to get 23. And their sum... When I add them together, I get uh, 25 plus 48 is 73. All right. Well, 30 needs to be, well, the third side must be between 23 and 73. And the 30 is. So this would, yes, it makes a triangle. Or it can make a triangle. Yeah.